I decided to improve this microgreen growing device. A fan needs to be installed as it prevents mold from forming. The water supply is sufficient for growing the crop. The light needs to be turned on every morning and off every evening. It needs to be set to work on a schedule, and for this, a microcontroller is required. And that means programming. But you can try using artificial intelligence for this. I'll give ChatGPT a try. I wrote the task. I have an Arduino Nano, and I need to control a 5 volt LED strip and a fan. And as you can see, it immediately gave me a program code for the Arduino. I asked it to list the parts I would need and provide instructions on how to connect everything to make it work. It said I need an Arduino Nano microcontroller, two transistors, and two resistors for the fan and LED strip. All purchase links will be in the video description. I drew the schematic based on its description of how to connect everything. For convenience, I added labels to the image indicating the transistor pins and the microcontroller inputs. I soldered everything as indicated in the diagram. I didn't change anything. I uploaded the program to the microcontroller as it was. And you won't believe it, but everything worked on the first try. In the program, the LEDs should be on for 10 hours and then off for 14 hours, so I would have to wait a long time to check it. I changed the time in the firmware to 15 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Everything is excellent. By the way, if I had to write such code myself, it would have taken me at least a day, but AI did it in five minutes. Now I'll start modeling. I modified the stand, made a place for the fan, and on the back, a place to install all the electronics. I read a good idea in the comments. Replace the nylon mesh with a grid. Great idea. It will be cheaper and simpler. I also drew a basin for those who find it easier to print than order. They wrote about the poor print quality of my printer. It has become even worse now because I replaced the nozzle from 0.3 mm to 1 mm. It prints 2.5 times faster, and that's more important to me now than quality. Instead of 14 hours with a 0.3 nozzle, it takes 6 hours with a 1 mm nozzle. Here are all the printed parts. I'll do a preliminary assembly to make sure everything fits as intended. The parts will be linked in the video description. I'm gluing the mounts to the container with rubber glue. Now I just need to fit in the electronics and assemble everything. This is how it looks assembled. And of course, I need to make sure everything works before final assembly. Everything is excellent. Testing can begin. I poured in 400 milliliters of settled water and sprinkled radish seeds. After seven days, I got this harvest. During the tests, I noticed that the fan blows in all directions. I printed a grid for the fan to direct the air more evenly. I wanted to talk about the software part. You can change it to your liking. You can set it, for example, to work for 12 hours and be off for 12 hours. So if you turn on the device at 10 a.m., it will automatically turn off at 10 p.m. and start working again at 10 a.m. You can also give the code to ChatGPT to have it adjusted according to your requirements. Thank you for watching. Be happy.